See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. Let us pray. Show favour, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace. That made fervent in hope, faith and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke all these words. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no gods except me. You shall not make yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything in heaven or earth beneath or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. And I punish the father's fault in the sons, the grandsons and the great grandsons of those who hate me. But I show kindness to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not utter the name of the Lord your God to misuse it. For the Lord will not leave unpunished the man who utters his name to misuse it. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labour and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath for the Lord your God. You shall do no work that day. Neither you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your servants, men or women, nor your animals, nor the stranger who lives with you. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that these hold. But on the seventh day he rested that is why the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and made it sacred. Honour your father and your mother so that you may have a long life in the land that the Lord your God has given you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbour. You shall not covet your neighbour's house. You shall not covet your neighbour's wife or his servant, man or woman, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth and all of them just. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. They are more to be desired than gold, 
than the purest of gold, and sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you are to hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom without understanding, the evil one comes and carries off what was sown in his heart. This is the man who received the seed on the edge of the path. The one who received it on patches of rock is the man who hears the word and welcomes it at once with joy, but he has no root in him. He does not last. Let some trial come, or some persecution on account of the word, and he falls away at once. The one who received the seed in thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this world and the lure of riches choke the word, and so he produces nothing. And the one who received the seed in rich soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He is the one who yields a harvest and produces now a hundredfold, now sixty, now thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for our souls and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, Hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God Bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.